This is episode one of Martine's Mummy Diary. I already blog, everyone's talking about vlog, so I thought, why not? Let's start a vlog. Let's start a vlog. This is my Princess Hermione, if you haven't been following my blogs. This is episode one. I don't know how often I'm going to do it, but when I do it, I'll post about it. <laughs> it's Friday! Not that uh, Fridays or weekend make a difference to me anymore, but it's Friday. I woke up this morning and thought, can we bother to vlog? Because what could I not going to have to do? But I'm here and I'm vlogging and we'll just see how it goes. Today, Imani and I are off to a play date, both for me and her. So we're going to see some of the mummies from her baby sensory group and she's going to play with some of her little baby friends. Um, I've hurt my back a bit though. It's a bit weak. It's an old injury that's flared up. It's a bit difficult because she's heavy and I've got so much stuff all the time. I'm just not a light traveller. I'm never going to be. I've accepted that. Um, Imani is seven months old and she weighs almost seven kilos and the car seat isn't the lightest. So I've got all my bags. I've got, I just, that's, that's just what I do. I just have so much stuff. I have to have everything I need with me all the time. Just about to drive off, I've just caught myself in a real mum moment. I was looking at my phone to figure out where I'm gonna go, like this, over my glasses, and then just thought, oh my God, I'm my mum. I'm my mum. We're back where we started. What a day. Play dates. First, my battery died on the way to the play date. Didn't know where I was going. Had to pull into a hotel, wait for my phone to charge, get Google Maps back up, get back on the road. Play dates. Sounds good in theory. Yeah, we go around. We'll chill with the mums. Babies will play with the babies. Doesn't quite work like that, though, does it? No. But it was a good day. Now we've just got home. Uh, it's quarter to six, so we need to start the bedtime routine. Dinner. Baby massage, bath, read a book, and bed. And I've got quite a grumpy little girl at the back who's not very settled. Bedtime routine. Let's go. Let the bedtime routine begin. Bedtime routine, bedtime routine, bedtime routine. Have you gone all shy? Oh, there she is. There she is. Hee 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 hee. <laughs> didn't end up doing a, a video entry at the end of yesterday because um, it was bedtime routine and before even dinner started Imani was sitting on the floor uh, she had her usual cushions behind her. I was sitting next to her, but she decided to arch her back and fling herself back, and she missed the cushions and tapped her head on the floor. And although it was just a tap, it was her first tap on her head, so it was a kind of that moment where they pause and think, I've just hit my head. Does it hurt? Mm, not really, but I don't know what to do, so I'll cry. And she had a little cry for it, but only for a little bit. But then that made everything else dinner bath, bedtime reading, going to sleep, a lot more difficult. And then she woke up probably every hour. So I didn't have an evening, did I? I didn't. But it's okay. And this morning she woke up at um, 5.50 and she hasn't been to sleep yet. So we've done playtime, we've done shower time, She's had milk, and now she's having a breakfast. And after this, she will have a little sleep, won't you? Because you'd be tired after all this, because if you woke up so early, and you're full of beans. There we go. I am in my dressing gown. My usual tie in the morning, pyjamas, and a bandana, which means I've done my hair, and I've done my makeup, ish. And my bandana keeps it tidy, ish until I'll go out the house because today we're going out again aren't we? Yes. One of our um, members of staff, our, our paddy boy is leaving us and we've got a evening meal so Amani and I shall be attending, won't we? 
So we've done all shower and everything this morning because it'll be all brushed up by the time we get home. Can I have the spoon now? Thank you. Let's have this one. Look, when we do one. Good girl. You say good morning. <laughs> Doesn't look like she's ready for a morning nap yet, does it? Hey, at least you're all dressed and ready. Yes, you're all ready to go. Oh, oh, she saved it. Oh, she saved it. Yeah. We're off out for dinner, Imani and I. It's the first time she's actually going to have a, her full dinner out in a restaurant. Normally we manage to time it so that she can have it either early or slightly bit later, but today smack bang in the middle so she'll be having her dinner with me at the restaurant. Oh my little doll, she comes everywhere with me. Don't you baby? You got two Oh, that was nice, wasn't it, Imani? Hey, now we're gonna go home. Bedtime before the drunk people come out. Yeah, that's a little girl tucked up all in bed and just coming back downstairs with my little trusted baby monitor. That I'm obsessed with, I keep with me all the time. Um, I'm just gonna prep a few bits for tomorrow, but it's hard now um, because tomorrow. We are going to watch my brother compete in Birmingham at uh, his CrossFit competition. She, Amani's used to going to them and she's used to lots of loud music and lots of people from being in my tummy the whole nine months when at the gym working every day and she loves being involved and getting and seeing what people are doing and she loves being out and about and but the thing is I never know what the venue's going to be particularly... Oh my god, the tops were right open. Oh, do that back up. Let me sort myself out first. Jesus. Almost got more than I bargained for. Um, you never quite know how long the day's going to be, what's going to be there, how loud it's going to be. So, um, we may not stay for the whole day, but I'm going to pack as if we're going to stay for a week, because I always pack loads. I pack my food, her food, toys to play with and stuff so she, made, she can make herself at home when she's there. Um, she's happy as long as she's got her food, as long as she's got me, as long as she's got toys, as long as she's got space to roll around on the floor and she's got lots to see, she's happy. So we will see what tomorrow holds but I can't wait for sure. Good morning, it's Sunday. Today we're going to Zach's CrossFit competition so I'm just going to show you everything that I've got ready for the day. There's Imani. I've not done her hair yet, so it's all sticking up and parted in the middle. I've not done it yet, have I? Yeah, we'll do it. We've got to get Imani's breakfast on the go. It's 8.47. We're leaving at 10. She's already had a morning milk, but we need to do breakfast now and check that I've got everything for the day. So for our day out, we've got my food and Imani's food, and um, I like to take as much of my food as I can. So what I'm taking is I've got some chili rice, cake snacks um, my superfood drink which I love and as well some superfood powder so if I want another one I can have one when I get out there some water because I can't stand paying ridiculous prices for bottles of water a couple of avocados a fruit and nut bar some nuts and seeds and some more fruit in there with dates, prunes, raspberries and blueberries and Marnie, I've got all her food that I make as well, I've got an apple as well if I'm going to take she's got in there what she got in there? Peas, sweet potato, carrots that I've done this morning. Um, and she's got a little fruit pouch at the back there with banana and blueberries. And then she's got a little one of coke, no, no, not like a cucumber, and avocado. And then she's got all the bits and bobs in there I need. Water and a couple of other snacks. And then, so in this mound of stuff, yes, it looks a lot, but and I probably don't need it all, but I'm going to take it. I'm going to take her bum bag just so that I can feed her because at these CrossFit places, they don't always have a range of facilities. They might just have a toilet and nowhere for me to feed her. So we'll either go out to a restaurant somewhere or stay in, watch that wads and feed her there in the bumbo. Um, if it's too loud, we're just going to come home. So all of this could be a big waste. 
big bag over there to put it all in. I've got her play mat, bag of toys, which I'll empty into the big bag, bumbo, little cushion thing to go around her when she's sitting up, car seat and changing bag and clothes and coat and my bag. So actually, it's not that much. It just looks like a lot. Are you ready to go now, Marnie? Oh. <laughs> yes. I literally look like I'm going on holiday. That's actually quite ridiculous. Oh, I'm still taking it. Birmingham, baby. And she slept all the way there. Stevie G. Hello. Thanks for carrying my bag. That's right. oh. Hello. You just missed it. Oh, oh. Oh. Yeah. yeah, I did a uh, seven at 120. Oh, nice. Hello. Oh. Hello. 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 Hello, baby girl. We're at the competition, aren't we? anyway and um, I didn't do an end of day vlog yesterday because my battery died um, and I ran out of space on my phone anyway um, time I got home it was late I put her to bed and um, so we didn't finish the day yesterday but it was awesome so that came second she was fantastic all day yes I took everything in the world my pretty, pretty much my living room but I had one happy baby with everything she needed, so I'd rather do that and have to carry a load of stuff than uh, go without. So she had her mats, her toys, she rolled around. Yeah, she had a really good day yesterday and she really enjoyed it. Um, and then when my phone died, I couldn't vlog anything. And then I, that's when I thought, oh, bless you. Oh, bless you, sneezy wheezy. Yeah. Is it? It's so hard to vlog. I like blogging because I can write that as and when and I tend to do it when she's asleep but to vlog I need proper equipment I can't just do it on my iPhone anyway. after yesterday's very busy <clears throat> and loud popping music all day we've got some nice calm melodies for breakfast this morning haven't we Marnie some chill out music a bit of Eva Cassidy is that name? yes it is princess poser so with the vlogs, it's a lot of effort, and we can do it, it's possible. It's not as enjoyable as vlogging, I've got to say, and I don't know if we'll continue doing it, because it's a lot of work, isn't it? And I need something more than an iPhone, because this iPhone's rubbish, it just 15% batteries most days from the beginning of the day after it's fully charged, so we need to sort that out. Maybe we'll just vlog when we go on nice trips out or with something different today is a home day so nothing really to vlog about today really is there 
blog about even. Hey, poser. Poser, poser. Oh, good girl. So, we'll see. Maybe I'll just post short little videos on Instagram. Maybe I will do a vlog. I don't know. Vlog or not to vlog? That's the question. Should I vlog? Should I stick to vlogs? Should I do a bit of both? You decide. Whereas today, we're going to have a chilled day. Shopping, food shopping. We'll walk to the shops and do some food shopping. And it's her, it's Monday, so it's her food prep day when I cook all of her food for the week, chop it, blend it, mash it, freeze it. And she's got some yummy homemade food for the week. That's about it today. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. It's been all right putting it together. I'm sure when we do the edit, I'll be like, oh, I actually quite like vlogging. But that's been our few days with my princess. Thank you for watching. If you did watch, please subscribe. Follow my blog, martinemommiesdiaries.com. No, that's not it. Follow my blog. What is my blog? Oh, mummy brain. Martin's mummy diary. God, how can I forget that? I type it every day. I type it every day. Silly mummy. Subscribe and follow everywhere. Bye.